Our top stories for this week, a Summerland family loses their home to a fire. A houseboat flips upside down in Sutherland Bay and the Kelowna Food Bank hands out over 1,200 Christmas hampers. Hello, I'm Jen Zielinski with our Week in Review. Our top story. The Summerland sky lit up Sunday morning after a home in the 10,000 block of Cedar Avenue caught fire. Castanet viewer Paul Koziak woke up to the sound of sirens around 4.40 a.m. When he went to his bedroom window, he could see flames from 10 blocks away. Koziak managed to capture the spectacular footage. The home is a complete loss and it's not known if anyone was home at the time of the blaze. In other fire-related news, an 18-year-old arsonist behind a massive blaze in a Soyuz that gutted two businesses says he was just trying to help the owners of a struggling church thrift shop collect their insurance money. Phoenix Lonsdale has been sentenced to four years in a federal prison after pleading guilty to setting fire that destroyed a Soyuz's Christian ministry thrift store and an adjoining dollar store on May 1st. Although he claims he was trying to help the thrift shop, owners say that it was not insured. A houseboat overturned Saturday morning in Sutherland Bay, spilling gas and debris into Lake Okanagan. The city of Kelowna wasn't able to find the owner over the weekend, but on Monday, Castanet found him cleaning up some of the mess. Actually, Saturday night, it was everything, no sign of any problem at all. By morning, it was a uh, flip over. Transport Canada has issued a removal order to the owner. If he does not remove the vessel by January 4th, Transport Canada will arrange to take it out of the water at the owner's expense. From our Crime Stoppers file, last week we told you police were searching for a prolific offender, Darcy Emil Lenko. Lenko was located and arrested on Monday in West Kelowna. This year's annual Christmas hamper delivery was the busiest on record for the Kelowna Food Bank. Over 100,000 pounds of food was given out over a three-day period. We are expecting to distribute 1,250 Christmas hampers over the next three days. So last year we distributed 839 Christmas hampers, so this number is up from last year and actually marks our highest usage on record for Christmas hampers. 60 volunteers worked each day, including a number of people from the Okanagan Chefs Society to help those in need over the holidays. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for joining us, and remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net.